So here it is all finished up and really pleased with how the scales came out. But we'll start with the show side scale. Now this is the Seafoam variation from G Carta and it definitely has a jade or Tiffany blue teal kind of color to it. And I figured since the scales are going to be so bright that I would etch and stone wash the blade liners and the pocket clip just so it has a really good clash. And I kind of landed on a theme of relics. And this combination just reminded me of relics that you see on National Geographic or, you know, the Mayan temples or ancient, ancient civilizations, if you will. But really happy with the, the large bevels and then that ripple cut weave pattern. Just looks really, really good in certain angles. And then I also created a custom backspacer since I wanted that clash again. Really, uh, a really simple backspacer, but since it's so thin, it's really, it's pretty difficult to work with since you don't want to break it or uh, damage it while working with it. I did on the hardware, I gave it a satin finish, which definitely gives it a, it definitely stands out from just the regular, regular finish where it's almost chrome. I'm not a fan of chrome, so that's why I like a satin finish. Did the same to the thumb studs. But we can get a close look at this blade, which is beautifully etched and stone washed. Fresh sharpened, so this thing is razor sharp. Let's see if I can get the camera to focus on this. I don't know why it's struggling. But there it is. Really happy with that. And then I also did the liners, which really aren't seen. I mean, they turned out really good, but they aren't seen underneath, especially this side since the scale's on them. But the outer edge, just a little bit of jimping showing through, not all the way through, but I think this is going to look really, really good together. I haven't assembled it finished, so really anxious to get this put together. So let's do just that and we'll see what it looks like. So here it is all put together. And I'm really, really happy with how this thing came out. There it is with the contrast of that backspacer against the etched and stone washed liners. Show you guys the pocket clip side. Just really, I'm really happy with how everything etched on the steel. If I was able to darken the hardware, which hopefully one day I'll be able to do, I would have done that. But I think it looks pretty good, complements it. And the action is still really, really good. And as always, let me know down below what you guys think of how this thing turned out. But I really do like that contrast with that, especially that really bright seafoam jade color. And once it is deployed, you get a little window on the inside of the etched and stonewashed look. And just really, really pleased with it. It is riding on bearing, so it's very, very smooth. And like I said, action is very snappy. You can easily spidey flick this thing. And overall, big, big knife. But we, or I should say, Greg and I plan on doing some more scales for this model. So who knows, we might, we might put some of these up on Greg's website. But I don't know exactly what will be happening yet. But I will definitely keep you guys updated on this knife. And I did want to mention that I did put a beveled edge on the backspacer. It is slightly raised above the scales just so it has or it gets a little bit more attention. And then I did add a sharpening choil on the blade. It didn't really need it, but that's just something I need on a knife because I am not an expert at sharpening blades just yet. So this does help. And I think, I think it looks pretty good. But there is the Beyond EDC Relic Night Horse. I think it's a fitting name. Thank you for watching, you guys. I really, really appreciate the support. And as always, I will see you guys on the next one.